Hello everyone, I'm Yuni from Institute of Software Chinese Academy of Sciences. In this presentation, I will talk about complementation algorithms for finitely ambiguous Bush automata. This is a drawing work with Mushawardi and Li Junzhang. First, I want to introduce to you what are Bush automata. Bush automata have the same structure as non-deterministic finite automata. They both have states, labels on transitions, initial states, and accepting states. Except that Bush automata only accept infinite words. A word is accepted if there exists a wrong resulting infinitely many accepting states. Such a wrong is said to be accepting. For instance, the word B omega is accepted because there's a corresponding wrong Q0, Q2 omega being accepting. Bush automata can be applied in many fields such as model checking and program verification. And for instance, Bush automata can be applied in the following way in Ultimate Bush Atomizer. A bubble sort program can be modeled as a Bush automata where each state corresponds to a program location and each label on the transition corresponds to a program statement. And here every state is accepting, which means that each possible rung is accepting. To prove program termination, we need to prove all the traces in a program are terminating. Bush Atomizer first will sample a trace and prove it's terminating. Generalize this trace to traces as a Bush Automaton with the same pr termination proof. Remove those tra terminating traces from the program and continue in this way until we find either find a non-terminating trace or have removed all the traces, which means that the program is terminating. Of course, sometimes we cannot decide the termination of a trace because termination is undecidable in general. The, here, the removing all terminating traces from the program reduces to Bushy complementation and intersection. Intersection is easy, but complementation is the main bottleneck of the approach because complementation is very hard for Bush automata. Here, complementation operation is to construct a Bush automaton that accepts the complementary language of the given Bush automaton. Currently, there are many four types of complementation algorithms, namely rank Ramsey-based, rank-based, slice-based, and determinization-based complementation. And they all lead to super exponential blow up in the number of states. And this cannot be avoided because the lower bound is also super exponential. Therefore, researchers have been looking for subclasses with better complexity. And two subclasses can be identified by the transition structures. Determin deterministic Bush automata can be complemented in linear time, but they are not as expressive as general Bush automata. Semi-deterministic Bush automata are deterministic from accepting states and they can be complemented in exponential time. If we classify the automata by the number of accepting rounds, we can identify a subclass called finitely ambiguous Bush automata, for which there are only finitely many accepting rounds for each word, while for general Bush automata, there can be infinitely many accepting rounds, and this class also contains the unambiguous Bush automata, for which there's only one accepting round for each word. Moreover, Checking whether an uh, automaton is finitely ambiguous can be done in polynomial time. So once a finitely ambiguous Bush automaton has been identified, a specialized complementation algorithm for it can be applied. Rabinovich first gives 
a specialized computation algorithm that produces a unambiguous Bush automaton with exponential blow up in the states. In this work, we obtain a better upper bound than that one when we do not ask for unambiguous Bush automata. Our contributions are as follows. Uh, we first apply co-deterministics uh, in which each vertex has at most one predecessor. These co-deterministics are similar to the structure by Rabinovich and we uh, modified this structure to so they can be applied to both rank-based and slice-based constructions. Second, we obtained the following better upper bounds for both classical rank-based and slice-based constructions. And moreover, we also found an optimization to improve the slice-based construction. Essentially, the complementation of finitely ambiguous Bush automata uh, consists of two steps. First, construct a codedeterminist stack over the words, and then decide the acceptance of the words. These two steps also occur in the classical rank and slice-based constructions, but their constructed decks are not, may not be co-deterministic. So let's first see how we construct a DAG. A round DAG is used to analyze the rounds over a word W. For instance, if we want to construct a DAG over the word AB omega from automata A, at first we are in the initial state with the A being the next letter to read and by reading A we can transition to this Q0 and at this vertex we we by reading B we can go to either Q12 or Q22 continue in this way we obtain this round deck and you can see that a round of A corresponds to a path in the deck and accepting paths have infinitely many accepting vertices that is those vertices with accepting states and you can see that uh, an index number in the vertex is called a level number and there are at most n vertices in each level here n is the number of states of a and you can also see that A is finitely ambiguous because there are two accepting rounds for each word. Note that this stack is not co-deterministic because the vertex Q23 has two predecessors. To make it co-deterministic, we can just keep only the predecessor Q Q22 for Q23 uh, and to construct co-determinist stacks in general we can just work through all the vertices at each level and keep only one incoming edge for each vertex and you can see that after this modification all vertices are still reachable from level 0 Note that this modification is sound for finitely ambiguous Bush automata. And we proved that for the code determinist stack GW over the word W, W is accepted by A if and only if at most, at least one path is accepting. You can see in this code determinist stack, there's one accepting path. Moreover, we proved that W is in the codeterminist stack, W is not accepted by A if and only if there exists a stable level K such that every accepting vertex after K is finite. That is, accepting vertices are vertices from which all paths have finite length 
and you can see the code determinants stack JW over the word AB Omega and it has a stable level K1 and you can see that the accepting vertex after level 1 it, that is Q22 is finite with lemmas 1 and 2 we are ready to decide the acceptance of the word W in the classical rank based complementation Kupferman and Wardy design a level ranking function that assigns each vertex at a level to a value in this range here bottom means that the vertex is not present at the level and they prove the this ranking function only assigns even ranks to accepting vertices and they prove that w is not accepted by a if on only if all infinite paths eventually get trapped in odd ranks that is all infinite paths are not accepting and in this algorithm each level corresponds to a state in the complementary boot automaton so because so the number of states in the complementary bush automaton relates to the number of possible ranking functions at a level because there are at most m vertices at a level so the complementary bush automaton has this amount of states and in our improved rank based complementation we deal with code determinist stacks we use the same trick to decide whether w is accepted by a except that the maximum rank to vertices in the code determinist stack is 2 instead of 2m and therefore the range of a ranking function is from 0 to 2 or bottom and then we can prove that our complementary bush automaton has exponential states and we have our thermal one our improved rank based complementation construction can produce a complementary bush automaton ac of a with only exponential blow up in the states Okay, now we consider slice-based complementation and we first introduce our improved slice-based complementation based on code determinist DEX. To decide the acceptance of the word W, we first guess a sta stable level and check whether all accepting vertices after this level are finite. To verify this guess, we need three labels. The inf label marks paths that have never visited accepting vertices before current level. Di lab label marks paths that have visited accepting vertices and should die out at some point. That means the di label eventually should disappear. And the new label marks paths that have encountered accepting vertices and wait to be inspected later after the die label disappears. And we prove that W is ex not accepted by A if and only if the die label disappears for infinitely many times. And here each labeled level corresponds to a state in the complementary automaton so the number of states in the complementary automaton relates to the number of possible laboring at a level and we prove that the complementary bush automaton has this amount of states for the general slice based complementation for bush automata we can view it as first translating a bush automaton to a finitely ambiguous bush automaton and then complementing the finitely ambiguous bush automaton the translation to from finite to from bush automata to finitely ambiguous bush automata is essentially building code determinist decks so to decide the acceptance of the word as before we need 
three labels inf, die, and new for deciding the acceptance. But we also need n labels for building the code determinist decks. And so in total, we need three n labels. And we use the same criterion as before to decide whether omega is accepted by A. And the complementary Bush automaton has super exponential blow up in the states. Now we introduce theorem 2. Our improved slice based complementation construction can produce a complementary Bush automaton AC of A with only 4 to the power n states. And this complexity is exponentially better than the previous non upper bound by Rabinovich. Moreover, for slice based construction, we provide a way to check whether a state M prime is subsumed by another state M. So we can apply techniques like any chain to improve the practical performance of complementation by avoiding exploration of redundant states du during complementation. Okay, and summarize, we First, present code determinist decks as unified tool for both rank based and slice based constructions. We also obtained improved upper bounds for complementing finitely ambiguous Bush automata for both constructions. We get an exponentially better upper bound than the bound by Rabinovich if we do not ask for unambiguous Bush automata. And also, we find a subsumption relation to avoid exploration of redundant states. As future work, we would like to study whether 4 to the power n is the lower bound of complementation for finitely ambiguous Bush automata. We would also like to see how our improved algorithm and subsumption relation would work in practice. We also would like to apply code determinist decks to Ramsey based and determinization based com constructions. Finally, our improved algorithm can be applied to termination checking if one can generalize a trace to a finitely ambiguous push automaton. That's all for my talk. Thank you.